Hi everybody, it's Pastor Robin with Free Indeed. Thank, welcome to the program today. We're glad to have you with us. Get your Bible. We are looking in the Old Testament today. 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. We are reading about a man named Naaman. Now he was a leader in the army. The Bible says he was a great man of valor, but he was a leper. And he went to the king seeking to be healed. And the king tore his clothes and says, I'm not God. I can't do this. So Word gets to Elisha the prophet, and Elisha says, send him to me. So this is where we're picking up. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 9. Then Naaman went with his horses and chariot, and he stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh will be restored to you, and you shall be clean. But Naaman, now watch this, he became furious. And he went away and said, Indeed, I said to myself, I imagined in my head, he will surely come out to me. This is what he expected Elisha to do. He will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over the place and heal the leprosy that way. Are not the Abana and the Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of the Jordan? of Israel? Can I not wash in them and be clean? Can I do it my way? So he turned and went away in a rage. He was mad because the man of God didn't do it the way he wanted him to. But his servants came near and spoke to him and said, my father, if the prophet had told you to do something great, wouldn't you have done it? How much more then when he says to you, wash and be clean? Just do what he says. So he went down and he dipped seven times in the Jordan, just as Elisha told him to do, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And what happened as a result? He returned to the man of God, he and all his aides. He came and stood before him and said, Indeed, now I know there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. And then he says, Therefore, please take a gift from your servant. Now, this is an amazing passage, and we can all relate to this today because when we pray for a miracle, whether it be for a healing or a financial breakthrough or a deliverance of any kind, anything that we need, any kind of miracle that we need, we often have it in our heads how we think it's going to play out or how we think God should answer or how we think God should fix this situation. We've got a mountain in front of us and we want it to move, but we have it in our heads how we think it should take place, how we think this thing should go down. But it doesn't always work the way we think it should. God is sovereign and he has his way of doing things. His way is always best. And we get in trouble when we try to do it our way instead of listening to the word of God, whether it be through a pastor, a preacher, reading the word of God for ourselves, or listening to the Holy Spirit. God speaks to us in different ways. But when he speaks, we need to listen. And you say, oh, that was Old Testament. Well, let's look at the New Testament. When Jesus himself walked the earth and he went around healing people, we're just going to look at physical healings just for this example. He did it in different ways. Sometimes he would go to the person like the man who was laying at the pool of Bethesda and he said, do you want to be made whole? Then get up. He just spoke a word and said, get up. Sometimes he just spoke a word and commanded a demonic spirit to leave the person, a demonic spirit that had that person bound. Another time he said, there were instructions for the person. He said, stretch out your hand and you'll be made whole and you will be healed. And he was. Another time he made a paste. He made an ointment out of mud and put it on the blind man's eyes. And then the blind man could see. So you see, let me give you one more example. Ten lepers. Ten lepers. Now, as was the custom, if a leper was declared clean, he had to go and present himself to the priest to be declared officially clean. So in order that he could be um, admitted back among the general population, you know, the, the rest of the people, because they would be no longer contagious. But the priest had to inspect them and make that... Uh, final recommendation, that declaration, yes, he's been healed. So when Jesus 
says to the ten lepers, he didn't heal them immediately. They didn't see any healing. But what he told them to do was go, present yourself to the priest as if you've already been healed, and you will be healed. So he was commanding them to go ahead and take steps, step out in faith. you got to start walking this thing out in faith, believing you're healed before you see it, and you will be. And sure enough, when the ten lepers take off, they're going to the priest. Now, that was a bold move. They had to have faith because you wouldn't go before the priest saying you're healed when you're not, <laughs> okay? But they go, and while they're on the way, the healing came. So they were able to present themselves before the priest. I am healed. I am whole. I am washed. <laughs> I am clean. Hallelujah. And you know the rest of the story. Only one of those lepers went back, returned, and thanked Jesus. So whatever your situation is today, you've got it in your head more than likely how you think it should play out, how you think it should resolve itself. It could be a relationship situation. It could be Again, a financial, a job situation. It could be a housing situation. It could be, you know, maybe a vehicle situation. These things add stress to our lives. They can shut our worlds down temporarily. If you don't have transportation, you can't get to work. There are so many things that we pray to God about to fix, and he will. He loves us. He has a plan in everything that happens to us. It's a part of his plan. But it doesn't always work out the way we want it to. And sometimes we get ahead of God. And sometimes we ignore what God says because we've already made up our minds how we think this thing should play out. But just like Naaman in the Old Testament, he said, I don't want to go wash in the Jordan. There's other rivers that are greater. Let me go wash in one of those. Why do I have to dip seven times? Let me just go one time. That should do it, right? It's what he thought, but it's not what God said. So when he obeyed the word of God and did it his way, even though it didn't make any sense, why seven times? Well, we know seven is the number of completion in the Bible. But Naaman didn't make any sense to him. But when he obeyed the word of God, he was healed. He was delivered. And then he believed without any doubt. Because he knew, okay, I did what the word of God said. And everything worked out. And my friend, I want to tell you the same thing too. Obedience. Now, you know, God loves you. Salvation is a free gift. Salvation is not based on our works. But a lot of times, blessings, healings, deliver, all kinds of things. We have to listen to the word of God. We have to follow in his steps. We have to go the way he tells us to go. Or things are just not going to work out for the best. We have our own ideas and our own ways of doing things. It doesn't always work out. So I'm telling you today, in the name of Jesus, listen to the words of Jesus. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the Bible's instructions. When we do things his way, we will always get what we're praying for and even better. So go with that word today. This is a Monday when I'm recording this. So start your week off right. Get in the word of God. Pray. But you remember, prayer is a two-way conversation. We, we speak to God and then we listen. We listen for his answer and we watch and we obey what he tells us to do. And then we can just trust him. We can go ahead, step out in faith like the 10 leopards and know it is already done before you see it with your physical eyes. That's faith. And I pray your faith is increased today. Go in the love of God and have a blessed week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.